Hey guys, what's up, it's Jack, the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build these magnificent townhouses that you can have in any colour you like. Okay, so let's have a look at them. So, although they are reasonably simple, they have a lot of detail behind them, and it really pops out with all of these stairs, walls, and slabs that we've used on the windows. These houses are built in the Italianate architectural style, which is characterized by the deep overhang with corbels and the tall rounded windows. They are usually made with brick, stone and stucco. As well as that, because they are townhouses, we've made sure they can be really close together and compact. So as you can see, they're in a group of two here. So you have two, the doors further away. And then you have another two here if you would like. You can have the doors closer. So it is your choice. So I'm currently now on the Alphacraft SMP server world. But now I better hop over to the creative world where we can actually start building this house. Okay, so I'm now on my Elite Patron world. If you'd like to have a look at this, make sure to check out my Patron in the description down below. And behind me we have, a, well, one townhouse. Now I was about to call it one half because they're sort of connected. But you can see they are duplicated. So I'm going to be showing you how to build one of them and then you can flip it or do whatever you'd like to it to duplicate it over to the other side. Alrighty, the materials you'll need for this build will appear on your screen now. Make sure to grab all those materials, and remember, if you're doing a double, so, so two of them, you'll need to double those materials. Let's start the tutorial. We're going to be working on the, out, the, the back and side walls first. Grab out some andesite and some stone. We're going to be starting by adding in some andesite pillars and a bit of a stone outline, and place one piece of andesite on the front corner. Then count 15 blocks to your left or right, depending on which way you want your front to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And on that 15th block, place a piece of andesite. Like that. Now come to either of these corners and count 9 blocks back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on the 9th block, place an andesite. Do this on both sides. This is what it should look like. Now grab out your stone and on every side except for the front, place in stone at the very bottom layer like this. That's what it should look like. Now build up each of these andesite pillars another seven so we have a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, one off. there we go. Now, place a stone brick in between these pillars going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 high, and just filling that in. So we should have a two block, sort of, um, two blocks left of space. Get on all sides except for the back, I mean, except for the front. Now you can start seeing your walls, like that. Now directly on top of all the stone brick, place one layer of stone and then another layer of stone brick. Like that. All layers except for the front. Build up another nine high using andesite on these pillars. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, yeah, like that. And do it again on all sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, grow 8 high on each of these sides, not the front, with your type of terracotta. I'm going to be using light blue. So 8 high, so that should be to 1 below the top of the andesite pillar. Now we're going to get on to the sort of more intricate parts of the top of them. We're going to need some stone brick stairs, some stone, and some diorite. We'll do the roof a bit later. Place stone brick stairs following along in a sort of line like this. On top of the terracotta, then rotate and do the same thing. This does as well go over the front. But we'll do that later. Then it will be easier to build. Now, directly on top of that and behind the stairs, place a layer of stone. Including the corners. The 
behind it. Like this. So I've done all sides except for the front. Now, come onto the outside of this stone and place diorite, no andesite stairs, straight across this stone and curving around. If you prefer the look of the polish, you can use that, but I like the roughness of the regular. It's now time to do the front wall. Now we're going to be doing the front wall in two sections. We're going to be doing the simple part here, which we have the door and one window. Then we have the two bay windows and this very fancy sort of rooftop. Let's start with the easier bit. For that, you want to grab out some chiseled stone bricks, some stone, some stone bricks, uh, some stone brick walls, some iron, some doors. I'm going to be using birch and some stone brick stairs. So the easiest way at the moment to place this stone, because we're going to be placing a row of stone along the front, is just go straight across. However, if you're low on stone or if it's ve very valuable, you can do it later where you can see the part parts where you really need it. Because a section like this behind this bay window, you don't need the stone. However, it is easier to just put it there rather than explain where to leave it. Now, let's get started by placing in the stairs. Okay. Start by coming to the very, very, very left side here and walking three blocks in, including the block you're standing on. One, two, three. Then walking four blocks out. One, two, three, four, like this. And on that block, place a chiseled sandstone. Then count two across and place another one. Place stairs in between. Now, place two stone on both sides because this is going to be symmetrical and then two chisel stone bricks and two more stairs like that. Now place some walls on these chiseled stone bricks. I'm just going to call them chiseled and then some iron bars on these ones up here. Rotating around to the sides, we want to create a sort of corner pattern with stone brick like this filling in these gaps. Fill that in with regular stone as well. So that's where our door is going to be. You can also place two, one more set of iron bars. Behind each of those iron bars, place, place two stone, then two stone stairs directly on top of it. Two stone stairs like this, facing to each other, and then two slabs on top. You should get this ornate door frame. You can now start placing stone brick around this door, just like this, so we know where everything needs to be. So, stone brick around that, and on the floor. Just one out. However, this layer right here should be stone so it matches the rest of the build. Like that. Now we're going to add a few more final pieces in here. For that, we'll have to grab out a few more blocks, we'll have to grab out some andesite, and we'll use our chiseled again. Place two chiseled blocks like this and then two andesite directly below. That should leave you just enough room for two birch doors, which you can place in now. Doesn't that look magnificent? Sticking with the same materials, let's start by going, coming one over to the side here, and placing a stone piece, doing the same here. One over to the side, starting on the stone, and placing a stone piece, and then connecting that with more stone. Back. Then you can break that stone behind it because this is going to be our bay window. Now above that on the two sides here and here of this longer piece, place chiseled and then regular stone brick directly, directly in between them and on these ones here. From above it should look like this. Now let's add in a few pillars. Grab out your andesite blocks and place three, three of them directly on top of this chiseled on this side as well. And do the same here on this block here, but with stone brick, one, two, three, and here with stone brick as well, one, two, three. Up again on that side, like that. Go up even more, like this on those sides, then add some stone on top of them. Now let's move on to this fancy bit here. Raise these polished andesite pillars by one, and place regular andesite stairs on them facing inwards. Then place a slab on both of them, a polished and a regular andesite slab. Oh, I haven't got that inventory. Grab an andesite slab, place it between them, like this. Then place three directly across the top, like that. 
Now on both sides, place one andesite on this pillar and then one on this wall. Facing that way like this, facing towards you. Now directly on top of all of these stairs here, place a stone wall. Two, three. On the other side as well. On top of those, place a slab. Like this, and then place a slab going directly across the build we just did. At the same level. So do not connect them like this. Do not do that. Just want it like that. Now behind that, you can go with stone. Like this. And just back it up. Put it back in there so you can't see directly into your house through that. You can only see it through your window, which you can put curtains on. Wow, this is starting to look really good. Let's go over to this smaller window here. We're going to have to grab out our, our regular stone our slabs, stairs, and walls for this, as well as some chiseled. Start by adding a layer of stone brick on top of this stone. Like that. Do it directly across to save time for later. Then grab out your slabs, which I for some reason do not have, your slabs, like this, and place them in line with these two slabs here, but on the top of the stone brick, with two stairs pointing outwards from them. Then go up three high with walls on top of the stairs. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. And our window's going to be in between that. Now place stone brick stairs on top of those windows. On top of those walls, not windows. Then stone brick stairs behind those. Then slabs. So similar to sort of what we did down here. Down here. Now, you can place in your blue, red, whatever kind of terracotta you have around this door. Now we're getting into a few more colours. Like that. Now directly on top of this door, not in this block here, but the one above that, we're going to place a two chiselled blocks like so. Yep, yeah, let's finish quickly adding in this wall just around it. So we can go one over, we can go above. Go up to the top like that. Now we're going on getting onto this window here, our second bay window for the second story. Let's start by coming to these two corners here and here and placing five up with andesite. One, two, three, four, five, polished andesite. Then come to the here and here and place one stone brick and place it on every other block that we can place it on here. So you can see. Then place another four stone brick on top of this block here. One, two, three, four. And on top of this block here. One, two, three, four. Now place four light blue terracotta or any colour of terracotta, depending on what you're using, here. As long as that, I was thinking about it. You could also do some sort of stripy green pattern or something like that, depending on what you're into. Okay, now we're getting on to the slightly more fancy bit. For this, we'll need some andesite stairs, slabs, and some stone brick walls, and some and some stone. Now, we're going to be replicating what we did down here with the stairs. So, stairs, slab, then more slabs across the top like that. Then, stairs and stairs there, more stairs and stairs there, like that. Then, place stone brick walls on top of all of these, but do not place slabs on top of them like we did down there because there's going to be a slight change. We are going to be placing some stone brick stairs on those. Let's grab those out. Start by coming over to this wall and placing a stone brick stair in this orientation. Do it on both sides. Then twist it back in and then continue along this with these walls. Now you need to make sure you're doing it this way because otherwise the stair won't curve properly on both sides. Now you've got your fancy stairs placed. That was probably the trickiest part of this whole build to be honest, especially to do in survival. Now grab out some stone brick, some stone, not stone brick. Place stone there and that in there and then directly across like this. Diagonally one forward. So it should be five long. One, two, three, four, five. And the direct center, we want to place a chiseled stone brick. Like that. Grab out some andesite slabs and place two on this stone here and this stone here. 
and then to here and here like that then come to end play some end side stairs here so they're floating there and then place two behind them and three across the top so we have a pattern like that now the only problem with this pattern is that you can see directly through into the house we do not want that so let's place a sp three pieces of stone now directly behind that place three pieces of regular andesite of five pieces and these need to be a full block not a slab to look good from both the inside and the outside now let's head inside and fix some of the holes that we have in these walls so by bringing this terracotta directly across like so and down then you can bring this stone brick up and this stone brick up as well now place stone brick in all of these spaces here except for the one on the andesite blocks so we'll place some more andesite there that so now when you go onto the outside you should not be able to see through except if you're looking through the windows okay now it's time to add in the glass as you guys may have seen i've pre-added both of these glass because they're pretty easy to add in so we've added in the glass here just make sure you get all of the blocks here and i'll show you how to add in the bay window glass because it can be a little bit trickier so for the bay window glass we want to use glass blocks where for this smaller window we want to use glass panes because you can't really get a curve with glass paints because they sort of glitch out, not glitch out, they sort of um, deform a bit. Let's place some glass straight up here, including in that little area up there. That's very crucial. We need to place one there. Put one there, there, there. And then just fill it all in. Like that. Now it's time to do the roof. For the roof, we want to replicate what we did on all four, all three other sides. So grabbing out some stone stairs and placing them like this. You need to make sure that you've got them facing the right way. So then we turn a 90 degree angle. They face the same way as the side, like that. Because otherwise it can look a bit strange. Now grab out some andesite stairs and place them on the stone like we did around the other sides. Then directly on top of all of those andesite stairs, place your stone brick ones, except for the side that you're connecting another house to. Now, because these are going to be next to each other, the next roof will actually connect to, to it like that. So if you're connecting it to another house, leave one side open, depending on which side you're connecting it on. And if not, you can fully do it all, all the way around. And if you're doing it, placing it in the middle of a few of two houses, leave two sides open to connect. So let's do that. I'm going to leave one side open, and that's going to be this side right here. So I'm not going to curve my stairs around. Do this with stone brick, and then continue up with stairs for two more. But with those, with the next two, let's use spruce wood. I'll grab out some spruce wood stairs. I'll see you guys once I have done this. I've now finished all of my spruce wood stairs and we now need to add in some spruce wood slabs. So the normal house would either have a peak roof, have a up sort of slant or a flat roof like that. But we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're going to be lowering it down that half slab like this. Okay, so I'm almost finished this roof here and there we have it. The roof is now fully finished. We just have a few more extra decorations to add in at the front end of the floor and lighting. Starting with the cobblestone walls for outside decorations, let's place one here in this first stair and one here on the third one. This is on our right side, the side like this, closest to this one, this thing. So on the left one, let's do the same thing, but leave a one block stair gap. Yeah. Then leave another block stair gap and do the same thing. This is what it should look like. Now the next thing we're going to do is optional. We're going to be adding an iron bar fence around the side and around the front. Just like this. You have to go fuel across and connect to the side. This is your choice. And even if you and if you want to, you can always uh, grab some leaves out. Place a few along the front here like this. Looks quite pretty. And even some flowers. So um, let's go with alley. Uh, are they called alliums? Yep, alliums flowers like that the choice is yours but with the inside we got to stay to some sort of rule because otherwise the build won't work 
with the floors, we have to place them at the level of the door, the first one like this. I'm just going to be doing an outline of the floor with a few torches on it. And then for the second story, if you want one, or you can leave it, just have a very high ceiling. Place it directly on top of this stone here, so right there. Because otherwise, if we have it any higher or lower, we won't be able to see out of the window properly. So with a staircase up, there's multiple positions you could put it. You could put it on along this side wall here, the back wall, but not too many spots on the front wall, unless you create a groovy staircase that has it goes up in a little spiral in this three block space here. Now at the top, I would almost say this is a must. We need to somehow convert this little area into either an attic or just a uh, empty space. So what I like to do is unless I'm feeling incredibly creative and want to turn it into some sort of man, or in my case, a bear cave, I like to grab out some stone and just place it straight across the top. Remember, you need to light this up because otherwise you're going to fill with the mob cap of your chunk and if you have any farms under your base, that's not going to end well. So place some lights in here to stop mobs spawning. As well as that, if you break through here, just thinking, oh, I feel creative today, so I'm going to do a few more, make this into a man cave, put a pinball machine in there. Be great if you could do that in Minecraft. And you break through it, and there's just a bunch of mobs there and creepers and stuff, your house is going to be gone in a few seconds because of all the creepers blowing up. You've now finished the full exterior of your Italianate brownstone influenced townhouses. Don't they just look magnificent? So that's going to be the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment and remember to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Peace. And remember, stay carbonated.